Hey everyone, it's Diana, Scrappin' Mom of Three, Scrappin' Mom of Three MPA, coming to you with um, two card shares. Um, this is a stair step card that I saw a video by um, Carol Ann, Logan's Crafty Mama, and I've been wanting to make this card. I saw it a while back. I saw her video, and I've been wanting to do this card, and I didn't get a chance to do it, didn't have a reason to do it, um, but um, I will, um, I'm not sure if I know how to link the video to to this, um, I'm going to do a video response to Carol Ann's video because she had asked for that if anyone had tried to, you know, if anyone made the card, so I'm going to do that to show Carol Ann the card, and um, then I'll see if I can put the link um in the box below. I'm not sure. I'm gonna, I've never done that, but I will try to do that. Um, but this card, Carol Ann had actually made this card for her realtor, um, the realtor when she was buying her new house, and I thought the card was just absolutely adorable. Um, I've done it for um, our neighbors. Um, well, actually, they were our neighbors, but now they are moving to a new house, and um, so I have done it um, I made them a card to congratulate them on the new house that they have bought. Um, or I should say they're, they were our neighbors. They were actually, um, living with their, uh, mother for a while. Um, so anyway, um, but they have now bought their own home. So, um, I bought, I made this card to give to them to congratulate them on their new home. And, um, what I did, I did it in the same fashion as Carol Ann did, um, with the stair step, um, I made the picket fence like she did, and I, um, the picket fence, um, I cut, she had different cuts that she had done from her Cricut, um, and I did, um, similar cuts, but I did not have the same Cricut cartridges that she had, so what I did is I used the, um, Cricut cartridge search, and I looked up the different things that I wanted to make, and I just cut them from, different cartridges that I had and um, I cut the fence um, from I think it was everyday paper dolls and I cut the trees and the house from um, I think it was my community and then and the cloud I think might have been from that same one and then I also put behind it they have two dogs they have a big um, mass stuff dog and then a smaller um not sure what their other dog is but they're they have this this like I said the big 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 dog and what is funny is you know they have this this big big dog and we have um two small chihuahuas and our chihuahuas always want to go out whenever their dog which their dog's name is Moose whenever he's out our dog wants our our dogs Bella and Bentley want to go out to play with him and um you know it's just to me it's just hysterical because especially our dog our Bella is a pug mixed with a chihuahua so she's a little bit bigger but our Bentley is a full, full bred chihuahua so he is um very small and you would think that he he just wants to be out there and play with his big dog. Now, we've never left him go out to play. I think they would be fine. They probably would be both very friendly with each other, but um they, you know, we haven't really ever done that because you know, one's so big and one's so small. Um but they just kind of, you know, look at each other and bark or, you know, uh, do what well their dog doesn't do anything he just kind of looks at our dog our dog is the one who goes like hysterical and wants to be outside but anyway um I thought you know I added the dog houses um as a kind of a little touch but anyway that that's just a little note in there but um then the flowers are from wild orchid crafts um so I put the flowers uh Caroline had done some other flowers on hers but um, like I said, this was um, something that I had wanted to try, so I did this, and I was pretty proud of the way it turned out. I also put the little bird in the window and the little um, curtains, and um, the curtains are actually just um, a piece that I had punched with uh, one of my Martha Stewart punches, um, the Daisy 
daisy la uh, doily lace. I use that punch a lot. So anyway, that's the way my card turned out, um, the one with the house, and I, I really like that, and I think we're going to try doing... Uh, well, actually, I did try one other one. I wanted to show you the other one. I did try another one, and I, I um, revised it, and I did this card. And this card is um, a card that I am sending. This is the same stair step type card, and I did it um, with um, the, um, the fences from the Everyday Paper Dolls. And so is the, I think the zoo sign is from that same thing. Wherever the fence came from, the zoo sign came from the same one. And the same with, uh, I think the poles came from the same thing. And the uh, zebra came from Create a Critter and so did the flowers. But I did the stair step, um, same fashion, it's the same exact pattern um, as the other card. I just changed the pattern paper and, and changed the um, props that I put on it. And this um, card is going to be sent to uh, Maddie, who is a girl um, who has leukemia. And Beth at Beth's Scrap Room um, on YouTube, she was doing a challenge. And I had sent one card to her that she could send in with the, the group that she was sending off. But um, my daughter... Um, we, we talked and my daughter said, why don't you make another card and send it from the family? Because, um, what, what Beth's challenge was, was to send cards, um, to Beth. And then she was sending them on to Maddie. Maddie has leukemia and, um, she was asking for cards, um, to help her get through this next round of, um, chemo and help her, um, with you know getting through this and Beth had she had said you could either send them to Beth or send them to to the hospital she's at um St. Jude's I think it is I have the address and like I said my daughter said well my daughter is my you know I'm I'm a mom I'm prejudiced to my kids my my kids are are all sweethearts I have two boys and a girl but my daughter is very um she has done she did um thon this year with Penn State she's um very passionate for, um, cancer patients. Um, so she said we should send a card at, from a fan, from us as a family. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to send this off to Maddie from us as a family, um, wishing her, you know, good wishes and, you know, blessings from us. But anyway, those were my two cards that I made, um, using the, um, stair step. Now this one does not want to stand up the stair step pattern that Carol Ann had shared on her video and um, like I said I will try to share that video so that you can see and um, these are the two cards and um, it's fun it, it's Carol Ann gives you very good it's a very good tutorial she gives very good directions about how to make this card and it goes very easily and comes together very easy so it would be um, something very fun for you to try and I'm probably going to make more cards like this because I think it was fun and I think it's neat to have cards like this that stand up on their own so anyway I wanted to share those hope everyone's having a good night and have a good week take care bye bye <laughs>